Hi there, I'm John from cncroi.com and today what we'll do, we'll do a review of the difference between PETG plastic and polycarbonate. For a lot of industrial applications, we end up using polycarbonate or PETG uh, for them. What they are is basically a replacement for glass. So let's say you have a big machine and you don't want the operator to be able to go, you know, put their hand into the machine. What you do is you put a plating of polycarbonate or PETG. They're almost identical visually. Looking at them, you can't tell the difference, but I'll show you how to, how to notice the difference. And they're, they're a lot stronger than glass. For instance, uh, polycarbonate is 200 times stronger than glass, while PETG is about 70% that of polycarbonate. And again, their advantage for industrial applications is that they don't shatter. Uh, so let's say you smash some glass with a hammer, it shatters everywhere. If you do that on PETG, nothing really happens. You might go through if you go strong enough, but then you're probably just bending into it. And the same thing with polycarbonate. So what we'll do first, we'll take a look at an example of polycarbonate being laser color changed and laser cut. <laughs> bit hard to see in that video but one way to tell the difference between PETG and polycarbonate when you're laser cutting it is polycarbonate produces a very thick black smoke while PETG is more like a whitish or light gray smoke and what you notice as well is that if something is laser cut you'll notice that the edge quality so the polycarbonate produces an edge quality that's essentially a dark gray or like a black depending on the thickness and the laser power while PETG is a clear color, it's closer to acrylic, so it's like a nice flame polish. Now polycarbonate I really enjoy far more than PETG, and the reason for that is because when you're cutting PETG with a laser, let's say you cut a circle, what you'll have sometimes is the circle melting back into the material because you essentially have a flame polish next to a flame polish, and both, both of them are uh, molten and they stick back to each other. Well, with polycarbonate, you have a very rough texture around it. It's equivalent, let's say, like a water jet or something like that. It's very, very sanded look and texture. So it can't melt back, which is really, really nice. The other advantage of polycarbonate over PETG is that they could both be gone roughly at the same thicknesses, but polycarbonate is just so much stronger. And there is a price difference. So polycarbonate generally is more expensive than PETG, which is why a lot of companies use PETG instead of polycarbonate. But on the thicker gauges, there's almost no difference. It's only when you get really, really thick stuff that you start to see a, a wide variance in the price. But what I tell my customers is, you know, you spent all this money building this awesome machine, and what are you going to do? You're going to skimp out on the most important feature of the machine, which is generally safety and visuals. So I just say, you know, it costs a little bit more to go with polycarbonate, but just for that extra margin of safety, just go for it. it it's, it's, it's trivial compared to the cost of some of the machines that we help uh, our customers with. What we'll do now, uh, we'll take a look at another polycarbonate uh, being cut, uh, this time with a CNC router. Both PTG and polycarbonate can be cut with a CNC router. So let's say you, want, you don't want that burned edge. We do that with the router, then you don't end up with that issue.
Now you may be wondering to yourself, why don't you make uh, safety guards and that kind of stuff out of acrylic? Well, you can make them out of acrylic, but it's not the best material for that. You want something that's very, very strong. So polycarbonate is, is essentially bulletproof glass. And PTG is like, again, 70% of that. So it's still incredibly strong. So let's say you have an application where something some, sometimes shoots out. If you use glass, it would shatter. If you, use poly, uh, if you used acrylic, it might shatter as well because uh, acrylic is very, very brittle. Uh, polycarbonate and PTG are very, very strong. Now, something I've noticed with the laser is let's say I was cutting out a profile of my hand here. If I did this in polycarbonate, I'd be I'd actually be able to bend the fingers of it like this. If I did it in PTG, if I bent it like this, it would probably just crack just like it was acrylic. There seems to be uh, something with when the laser heats up the material the second time, uh, PETG can, tends to become more brittle, while with polycarbonate you don't generally have that issue. Again, there's some variance based on thickness, but that's just what I found. So if you have some applications where you want PETG or polycarbonate, contact me at cncri.com. <laughs>